Okay, uh, we are showing you now some preliminary results on um, showing which is the basic notion, the, the intuition of our method that we are proposing, so, yeah, that which is called subcardinality. Subcardinality is, um, well, we know the classic cardinality, which is the number of different uh, elements in a set. Uh, so, uh, set A and set B. Set B has uh, both of them three elements, so the cardinalities of A and B are three. But if we consider the similarities among the objects in a, in a set, we could consider that this set is more compact because they, um, they, they have similar elements. Uh, differently to the first, um, different to the first, to the first set, which elements are very different. So, if we have a similarity function that will give us a, a result of um, the similarity between one, uh, one animal and another animal uh, in, uh, in the range in the zero one interval, maybe uh, we can consider that this set must uh, will be compacted just in one element, on almost one element, and those three elements uh, try to be, to be compacted, but not too much, because they are very different. So, uh, that kind of similarity would give us, for the first set, a uh, number close to three, and for the B set, a uh, number close to one. If you use um, uh, a resemble coefficient such as Jacquard, and the, and the crisp card, and we're going to do the classic cardinality, we got a number of uh, 0.2 because we only have one element in common. And in this case, we have a higher similarity because uh, this set become compacted, but coincidentally, that element is the, uh, the common element with the other one, so we expected a higher similarity. How to use that idea with text? Uh, let's change animals for uh, words. In this case, words which are names. Um, for instance, we have the A, the A name, Sergio Gonzalo Jimenez, my name, and B, uh, my name, but with an abbreviation and both uh, misspellings. So we first we try to compact the set using similarity among those words, and then we try to compute, compare the union use compacting this with this. And uh, if we have the uh, subcardinality of A, the subcardinality of B, and the subcardinality of the union, we can use uh, Jacquard with some uh, basic math and compute the final uh, similarity value. Uh, also, we can do but uh, using weighting. Now, uh, giving different weights to, to, to different words because of their prominence. Uh, using uh, the same idea of TFIDF, so Galbuk, uh, Alexander is a rather common name, but Galbuk is a rather, uh, it's a not as common name. So we think that the, the salience or the importance or the weight of the non common words are more informative, and we apply exactly the same process. Using that simple idea, uh, we used the uh, 12 uh, entity resolution data sets. Um, uh, we are measuring here the, uh, the performance with the interpolated average precision. And finally, we got compared with the soft TF-IDF. We got this number. Uh, and our results uh, reach a slightly better result but we are using a static approach, only an information contained in both texts, and soft IDF used an um, adaptive approach, which is uh, clearly more expensive. And <coughs> we also use an adaptive approach and get better, better results, but not too much. Uh, we presented those works at uh, the conference as far as 2010, but mm, now, we are uh, we are arriving to get this this uh, this performance, which is uh, consider considerably better than this one using an an static approach. So a much better performance. We are fixing similarity and in the the human factors. Well, uh, another preliminary, preliminary result we already studied the problem of asymmetry. And we discovered that uh, if e we uh, can design a similarity measure in which we control the symmetry, 
uh, and this uh, and the total symmetry is on the, just in the middle and symmetry to one uh, symmetry to one side or symmetry to the other side is adjusted the measure and we uh, the uh, constate the um, the, the, the traverse key theory and uh, clearly we got better results uh, uh, not in the asymmetry line but in the uh, charge in one of the sides that's what with uh, entity resolution data sets we also test that with uh, information retrieval data sets with data sets where, or collections where the asymmetry is more notorious because the uh, query queries are very short and the documents are very large. Queries like uh, North Korea and the documents are like Red China. And we got also the same, the same, the same uh, results. Uh, and here, this is the the TFIDF cosine uh, baseline. And it's interesting to to, to note that here we in the in the symmetry case here we have sets. And here we have, uh, and at that level, we have vectors. But uh, clearly, vectors uh, outperform as sets in the symmetry case. But when we take into account asymmetry, uh, clearly, sets uh, outperforms um, vectors. Well, this is the last uh, slide. Uh, we also are interested in other human factors, for instance, the extension effect. Uh, we said that similarity of a pair of objects got increased with an extended context. What is this? For instance, we are uh, comparing those images, uh, a violinist and a, a cellist, a famous, both uh, famous uh, violinist and, and cellist, but we uh, perceive some similarity between those, those, those objects, those people, but if we uh, insert the, that third image, which is also a musician with also plays on a string uh, instrument, it makes that those, both those uh, musicians become closer in our similarity perception. With that happens also with text. Let's say that we have uh, three authors of a paper. So let's say S. Jimenez, F. Gonzalez, and A. Gallup. That's exactly the same case. Those are uh, Spanish names. Um, Galbuk is a Russian name, um, um, that which is mm, not as common for, uh, in the accidental world. That makes the Jimenez and Gonzalo become closer. That is an idea that doesn't work at all in metric spaces. If you have two points and you add a third point, then never the two original points can change their distance or their similarity. So we are planning to use uh, this uh, human factor and other human factor that we could um, find and adapt to our similarity issues. Well, that's all. Thank you very much.